For a little while now, I've been looking for RTS games of necromancy. They're slim pickings, few and far between, but I did manage to stumble across this game, Heroes of Annihilated Empires. There's not a whole lot of RTSs around anymore, and fewer still that have necromancy. The strength of this game is its interesting gameplay. It allows you to produce very large armies for an RTS, and has a lot of interesting units in it. In most RTSs you're capped at maybe 100 or 200 units, but in this game we're talking well above 600 units, maybe over 1000 units. I'm not sure what the hard limit is because I'm new to it. The gameplay is hybrid RTS and RPG, a bit like Spellforce perhaps if you've ever played that. I turn the heroes off in my games because I prefer a pure RTS experience, and it's nice that the game supports this, but they're there for the people who want them, and they're ridiculously powerful. They chop through the lesser troops like your character does in an action RPG, which probably explains why units are so plentiful in this game. Your buildings infect the land and spread some kind of blighted terrain. Nice green trees fall over and die. You've got a large selection of units to build. Ghosts, skeletons, vampires, werewolves, liches, bone catapults, skeleton commanders, dracoliches, and bone dragons, to name a few. Even though I can endorse the gameplay in this game, it's not without its problems. In fact, there's a borderline game-breaking bug in this, and it's affected me. It probably wasn't a problem back in 2006 when the game was released, but on modern rigs, your audio can go completely haywire. Unless your audio is disabled, all you can hear is some kind of overwhelmingly loud ambient noise. So loud it drowns out the music and unit sounds. It sounds like you're in the middle of a hurricane, or maybe you've put your head into the toilet and you've flushed it. It's so bad I had to disable the audio completely to play the game, which is why in the footage you've been watching, everything is ghostly silent. If you can live with that, or somehow find a fix for it, and you've got a buddy to play the game with, I'd recommend it because it's fun. The strange thing is, is that the sound bug doesn't always strike. For example, I tried to start the game then to record the sound bug, to see if I could show you guys, but I can't get it to happen again. So, good news is that it won't always happen. I've searched the internet a bit and found other people reporting the same problem, but there doesn't seem to be any fix. So you've just got to get lucky, really. I set up my compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2, which is probably the operating system the game would have been running on back in 2006. Whether that helps or not, I'm really not sure. What I can say though is that the sound bug seems to be fixed for me for the moment. I hope it doesn't return. It's an older game, from 2006, but as far as RTSs go, especially ones of an undead faction, this can be considered one of the newer RTSs. There really just aren't many more of these RTS games being made, and fewer still that have necromancy. Despite the sound bug I mentioned, which is a huge shame, I think the gameplay in this is worth mentioning. The game isn't expensive on GOG, and if you're affected by the sound bug, know that it seems to be, at least for me, a temporary problem. I had it the first few times I played the game, and now it's completely gone. Uh, it may come back, I'm not sure, but for now it seems quite stable and fun, with no toilet flushing sounds. And even if you are unlucky enough to be affected with the sound bug and you can't resolve it, you can just refund the game. Or, if you don't refund it, it only costs you about the price of a hamburger, so it's not a big deal. Might be worth checking out if you're into RTS and you want a necromancer faction. You know, I really like the art style in this game too, especially how the vampires look. The terrain is a bit funky sometimes though. There are a lot of good RTSs from the mid-2000s, some of my favourites actually. We had the Battle for Middle Earth in 2004, which is probably my favourite RTS game. Modded though, you needed the good orcs, not the standard orcs the game gave you. Another game from back then that I really enjoyed was Rise of Legends, with the sort of um, steampunk units and everything, Clockwork Men, that was great. I missed that game. So this game comes from a good generation of RTSs. 
probably one of the last generations of RCSs before MOBAs came out and kind of made RCS relevant. Pretty sad, really. I don't really like MOBAs, I can't get into them. But at least I can go back in time and find games like this to sort of scratch that itch that you can't really scratch with the new games anymore.